The University of Tennessee at Chattanooga women's basketball team is headed to Louisville for the first round of the NCAA tournament. Joining me now is the head coach, Jim Foster. Great to have you here this morning. Good morning. I know you're anxious to get on the road and start traveling, so thank you so much for just being here and taking time to, to stop in this morning. Thank you. It's very exciting here. I know, you know we have a large viewing audience, and we have a lot of people in North Georgia who watch. So maybe for those that aren't following or have not followed the mocks as closely as, as what we have right here in the station, mm -hmm. let's talk about, before we get into all the excitement of who you're playing, let's talk about the last game that you played. <laughs> that was against Mercer, is that yeah, correct? And yeah, it was, yeah. I remember seeing highlights of that. I watched just a little bit of it, but boy, at the end, it really got intense. <laughs> yeah, we were down 13 in the second half and right. cut it to 10 to start the fourth quarter and just made a couple quick baskets and the game got very interesting very quickly. It did. Yeah. And you've been coaching a long time. It's about 39 years, is that right? That's about. That's right. Okay, yeah. so you this is definitely not your your first experience with a championship, but how does that compare that final game with it being so intense? How did that compare with, you know, in in the element of excitement of what you've seen? Was it pretty? I think with this group it was it was uh, sort of fitting mm -hmm. because we had won some conference championships but never in the style that we had to uh, win this one. We, we, right. we played well and then we did not for the first uh, three quarters and Mercer played exceptionally well so mm -hmm. uh, sort of the stick to it and and, and have that uh, toughness that I think good teams need to have when they're in situations like that. Right. Uh, so I, it, was, it was a good ending for us. It was. It was great. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. And also, you know, you played at the at the beginning of the season, and with your schedule, you chose to, to really take on some hard teams. Yeah. And I admire that. Do you think playing those tough teams like Florida and, and UConn and, and yeah. some of those teams, did, did that really help you, do you feel like, to get to this, this level when you're in these tough yeah. situations? Yeah. I think it helped us tremendously mm -hmm. um, because we had to learn some more about ourselves. I think you think you're good. You know, young people think they're good. Right. And... Uh, uh, you've got to give them a little dose of reality every now and then, and <laughs> and, and it might have been harsh at times. Uh, the reality, you know, when you're playing UConn on their home floor, but uh, I think it served us well in the long run. I think we became a better team, and and uh, I think our players improved as a result of the opportunity. Right, and I know that you know I've heard and seen highlights, you know, from our sports names like Jasmine Joyner, uh, who was recently the MVP, and there's is it Queen Alford. Uh, we mm -hmm. hear a lot of her names. Those, uh, those ladies, you also have a, a lot of juniors that are, have really stepped up and are, have a good leadership base, it seems like, they're on the team. Yeah, this team has been there, and, and they've done a lot of things in the course of their time together. And I think the addition of uh, Lakeland Bowling, the freshman, uh, sort of added to the mix of those veterans, and it, uh, I think, really helped us become uh, a pretty good team. Right. Seems like some great girls and some great role models in a time where that's very much needed for young girls even in our area and, and all over that have followed you and, and are watching you. Yeah, so they're, very important. Yeah, they're, they're stars on and off the court. They right. do great academically. They're involved in the community. They're out there doing a lot of things uh, that I think benefit them and Right, and, and I think we have a little bit of video because last night, I'll be honest, I even stayed up because I wanted to see who you were going to play because you uh -huh. didn't know until last night. There yeah. it is there. I guess are they at your house there? You had a little party. To, to find out what yeah. was going on. Yeah. yeah, that was exciting. So tell me a little bit about that. And you've actually played this team before. So do you think that's going yeah. to, to work to your advantage? You know, having, I know it was a loss the first time, but that's gotta, gotta be good to be familiar with them and have yeah. played them before. I think the fact that we played there, we've been in the environment, and we're a much better basketball team mm -hmm. today than we were uh, mm -hmm. when we played them. I don't know if we could have been playing any more poorly than we were playing at the time we played them. and I. They got off to a quick start, but then for three quarters, we, we kept it competitive and, and did some very good things. So right. uh, hopefully we've morphed into something that's a little different than what we were then, and I, I believe we have. I believe you have, too, and we wish you all the success this weekend. We're certainly going to be following you. Our sports team does a great job of covering that. Maybe you can come back with a trophy. We'd love to have that and bring some players back. You can certainly find out more. Like I said, uh, be sure to check in with News 12 Sports, and you can also visit their website, gomox.com, for updates. Thank you.